A 5% 15-month CD. Are you kidding me? If you're close to retiring, man, I don't know how you don't take advantage of this. Look, I can't tell you what to do with your money. You be you. You're getting 5% guaranteed from Navy Federal Credit Union. I don't know what your local bank is doing. I don't know what the you know 13-day or 13-month T bill is doing. I don't know. It's up to you to look. Or 13-week, I should say. Actually, let's take let's do take a look. I, I don't know how you don't do this, man. Um, let's see here. So 13 month, a uh, 13 week, uh, T bills right now are paying, uh, four and a half, but uh, just look at this, get our, I don't know what they're, okay. get our highest rate in 10 years. When you open a special 15 month CD, uh, you can open as little as 50 bucks. You can keep adding money up to 250. Don't wait. Offer could at any time. I, look, man, I I don't know how. You, and then you could be like this guy, making his little girl happy with the Legos. I don't know how you don't do that. I don't. I mean, literally, I don't. I, I get all these people. What are you, I mean, just like why, why take the risk if you don't need it? I'm gonna show you something here in just a second. So let's look at rates. I mean, this Navy Federal. You gotta be a member. I'm a member of 25 years. My wife's a member of many many years. Five percent. Now your dividend rate is 4.88. So your this would be your um apy yeah apy there you go all right so that's what you get but that's if you don't take the interest you let the interest reinvest so let's just say you're about to retire you're gonna retire in june you're like man i'm gonna retire in june that's, i don't want to get rocked with a horrible market down decline decline but josh inflation that doesn't mean the stock market is gonna do better I don't understand this, but Josh, inflation is going to eat away at my interest. That Why do you think the stocks won't? Ah, it drives me up the wall. Because stocks are hedged against inflation. They prove to be a hedge against low inflation, moderate inflation. They haven't proven to be a hedge against high inflation. We have no evidence of this at all. None. Oh, my. It drives me up the wall. This is the most insanity thing I've ever heard. Well, my stocks will. I'm getting a fixed interest rate. They'll be destroyed by inflation. You know who else gets destroyed by inflation historically? Your equities, man. Come on. Anyways, check this out. I mean, I'm even thinking about doing this myself. I'm only 52 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to show you something. All right, so here we got Kevin and Doris. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you my uh, what I use in my stuff here. All right, so we got all bonds, 4.1% with a 4.6% standard deviation. I just I know standard deviation is not a great way to measure risk. It's what we do. Everyone says, ah, oh, I just, I get it. All these guys, you know, trying to blow smoke where it doesn't belong. You shouldn't use standard deviation to measure risk. Yeah, if you're using a Monte Carlo, that's what you use. It's what the industry uses, and I don't like the industry in a lot of ways, but this is the best we got. Because we can all say the real risk of your investments is going to zero. I completely get that. I completely get that. Standard deviation simply said measures volatility around the mean. That's all it does. I'm using a mean return of 4.1 for all bonds. Standard deviation of 4.6, which will show you if I take my trusty thing here. And we will show you what that means. So we simply say, let me just go back to, I forgot what it was. 4.1 is our mean. 4.1. We got standard deviation of 4.6. So that means we take our trusted calculator, 4.6 times 3, 13.8 on either side. And we go plus minus 13.8. We're just going to say 14 for simplicity. So that means you have 99.8% of the time with these metrics, which I just created out of using Vanguard's numbers, we'd be 18% on the positive. All right. Or we'd be uh, minus 4.1 minus 13.8. Or it'd be 9.7 on the negative. So 99.8% of the time, I'm drunk, we'd, be, we'd have a negative 10% on the market decline or a positive 18% on the market going up. That's, what, that's the range of our investments. And I'm saying that CD right now, you get 5% with no standard deviation. Are you flipping kidding me? So check this out. Look at my mouse. There it is. That's with an all bond portfolio. Here we go with all stocks. You're getting 6% mean with a, let's say 17 standard deviation, which we got to take 17 times three, 51 plus minus 51. Yes, that would be negative 45 or positive 57, 57, yeah. 
So your range, 99.8% of the time, and this is, is going to be that right there, negative 45, positive 57. For 6% a year is our expected rate of return. Dude, are you kidding me? If, I, man, I, look, I still, I'm thinking about this myself, not going to lie to you. Because if I'm expecting the Wellington to give me, eh, uh, friggin' five with downside risk, and I can get five at a CD, I just hate selling stuff. I hate it. But Josh, I, man, I get it. I get it. But you can lock that 5%. That's just attractive with no risk. All right, something to think about. We'll see you.